Hey team, welcome back to the garage today. I'm here again with another used oil analysis for our 2023 Honda Pilot. Um, little background information. So this is Quaker State 0W20 motor oil, um, full synthetic. It was installed October 28th of 23. It was drained June 28th of 2024. The car at the time had 19,685 miles on it. Uh, the oil itself had 10,020 miles on it. Um, no makeup oil was added to this oil. Um, condition of the oil looked fine for 10,000 miles. Actually, it was a very light golden color. It smelled good. Uh, it didn't smell any fuel in it or anything like that. So um, first things first, I want to get into the comments that Blackstone put on this oil analysis. Uh, and I quote, we were looking for wear metals and silicon to come down as this engine moved from initial break-in, and that's exactly what can be seen on this report. Aluminum from pistons and bearings and iron from steel parts have already fallen close enough to the averages to lose their bold marks on the report. Copper and silicon aren't quite there yet, and that's okay. It'll probably just take another oil change or two for the rest of the residual wear metal from brass and bronze parts and silicone sealer lube to flush out. The TBN is still okay at 2.6. 12,000 mile oil changes should be fine. Now, I did ask Blackstone their opinion on that, so that's why they included it there. Uh, extended oil changes uh, would be recommended. Um, so let's move on and let's look at our numbers here um, for wear metals, contaminants, and additives. Okay, so for wear metals, we're gonna start with aluminum, and these are all in parts per million. Uh, first, aluminum came in at 8, chromium at 1, iron at 21, copper at 22, lead at 0, tin at 0, nickel 0, silver 0, titanium 0. Next, we'll move on to our contaminants. Potassium came in at 2 parts per million. Silicon came in at 26 parts per million, and sodium came in at five parts per million. Finally, we're gonna look at our additives. Maui came in at 196 parts per million. Manganese came in at 16 parts per million. Boron came in at 36 parts per million. Calcium, 1,272. Magnesium, 424. Phosphorus, 569, zinc 696, and finally barium came in at 1. Last we'll look at our properties. So our SUS came in at 49.8, our CST viscosity came in at 7.2, our flash point was 390 degrees Fahrenheit, fuel came in at less than 0.05%, Antifreeze is zero, water is variable, zero, and solubles came in at 0.2. And finally, our TBN came in at 2.6, TBN meaning uh, the amount of our additive packet that was left. So everything's looking good in our properties. There you have it. There's our used oil analysis on our 2023 Honda Pilot. 10,000 miles on Quaker State oil and every scene, everything seems to be okay. As stated by Blackstone, wear metals are still a touch high, but mostly due to engines still breaking in a little bit and some residual oil from the first oil change uh, still being in the engine. And when you drain your oil, you're not gonna get everything out of there. There's still gonna be oil clung to the components and to the block inside the the engine and it's just going to take time to flush all that out so i feel confident that we'll keep going uh, with these oil changes now these oil changes are following the honda maintenance minder in the vehicle uh, this was changed at just about one percent it had been at five percent for a while um, so we're going to keep going right now i have mobile one in there and uh, we're going to see how the mobile one does over another extended oil change so Thanks for visiting the garage today and come back soon. Thanks. So real quick, one thing I wanted to throw in here at the end of the video, as I look at comments from my previous videos. Um, so the driving conditions that this oil change was under, uh, my wife uses this, the commute 
about three days a week, uh, about 75 miles round trip. Um, but then we also use this as a grocery getter, right? So we're running to the store, um, running around town real quick to run some errands, drop kids off and stuff like that. Um, the car does not get short trip. Uh, we, we do live out in a rural area. So if we're going to the grocery store or we're going anywhere to do some sort of shopping, it's about a 10 minute drive. It very seldom gets started and does not reach operating temperature before it's shut off. So um, just wanted to throw that in there to put a little context around what this analysis is and uh, what results you're seeing here. So um, obviously your results may vary and you know, if you're concerned about what's going on inside your engine, um, the analyses are like 40 bucks. You can pull a sample, send it off the Blackstone and I'll have results for you in a couple of weeks. Uh, so you can check it out yourself. So thanks for stopping by again and see you soon. Bye-bye.